Okay, let's uh, welcome. This is part 5B. The other 5A was pretty long, so I decided to cut it right there. Sorry about that. Some of the some of this stuff takes a while. I'm a little slow in speech and stuff, so sorry about that, but thanks for your patience. All right, so this is part 5B, and we're bringing our house into the sim now. We hope. All right, so we're gonna uh, go to our, our place, our scenery location. In our case, in this case, it's 5 Alpha 1 Airport. Okay. Go to our parking space, make sure my weather's clear, go to fly. Okay, we're at the airport, get ready to fly. We're in the cockpit, which is normal. Go to tools, project editor, project open. Navigate to where your scene is, in this case, tut one, select the uh, the primary XML, which is the highest in hierarchy. I don't know if that made sense. Open. All right. Uh, notifications, I'm ignoring you. All right. And then we open our scene, go to the BGL, and load that into the editor. And Autogen buildings disappear. Using the Alt key in our mouse, we're going to zoom out. Every when you use when you use Alt and the left mouse button, sometimes it's just going to fly up in the air. If that happens, just hit the F key, and that lowers you back down to the ground. Okay. Um, another way to navigate, you can use the um, W S W A S D keys. Okay, so D left, uh, A, no, A left, D right, W forward, S backwards, just like a video game. And then on the number pad, your, um, your four, four and six is pivot, and your eight and two are up and down. All right, and those are the same keys you use in drone mode. Just so you know. All right. Anyway, we're back on the ground here. All right. So we're at the airport. Our autogen buildings are gone. And there's the hangar that we put in from uh, um, two videos ago, part four. Okay. It's not the hangar that actually is at this airport, but it's one that I added into this scene. All right. And now we just created a house. So we want to put that house into the sim. So we exported it in the last video and we're going to import it in this video. So over here on the objects tab, uh, you're going to go to the packages and you're going to go down until you find your tut one or whatever you call your scene. And you're going to select on that. If your model exported and the build worked properly that external build that we did if it worked properly your building or your objects are going to show up in the objects list and there's our tut one house right there so we'll click on that obviously we can't see it but if you do a one click placing you'll be able to see your house and there's that house that we built okay I'm going to turn that off for a second and I'm going to zoom in here and this is a really small airport and the FBO actually is an old farmhouse so um, for this particular airport all right so you're going to select your model in our in our case it was the tut one house and I'm going to add just hit the add and it places that places the object in the scene all right then you can use different uh, use the the uh, gizmo here to move things around. You can actually bring up the gizmo toolbox by going to view on the scenery editor and selecting gizmo. All right, so we're translating left, right, forward, backwards. Okay, place that model in the scene 
where it belongs. I don't need to rotate. I mean, I mean you can, but we're not gonna. All right, and then you have your model in Flight Simulator. Okay, now sometimes, sometimes you'll notice that your model isn't flat on the ground. Um, that's something that you can take care of using terraforming, which I'm going to make another video about. Um, since the last video was over an hour long, I'm not going to keep you here that long this time. <laughs> All right, so anyway, we got our house in there. Doesn't look too bad. It's a little brighter and lighter than what it looks like in um, Blender, but for the most part, that's as easy it is to get your model into Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, I just want to describe a couple things. Don't worry about it not being on the ground. Like I said, we could do some terraforming and bring the ground up to take care of that. You can actually also um, right click, since the house is selected, right click the properties and you can actually turn off snap to ground and you can actually grab it and drop it down a bit like that if you wanted to. But I don't like doing that because I get some uh, unexpected results sometimes, especially if they update the 3D mesh for the particular location that you are. So I leave it snap to ground and then I use terraforming to bring the ground up to it. All right, we'll talk about that in another video. Now, a couple things I wanna show you that we touched upon in the blender section was remember the PBR textures that we talked about and they they will look they can look nice in blender if you use uh, blenders uh, cameras and lights and set up a scene you know blender will, will render that that building gorgeous okay but when you're just building models, uh, simple models to put into Flight Simulator, you will see the effects of the PBR textures when you get them into the sim. Okay, so let's take a look. If you look at the roof, see how it's kind of shiny? All right. Whoops. Okay, so that almost looks three-dimensional in the sim, okay? It looks okay. When you're flying in an aircraft over an airport, you're not gonna be looking that close anyway. All right, now let's look at the windows. Remember the windows. There's our, win there's our window. And if I move it where the sun is shining, <laughs> you can start seeing there you go see the glare the shine coming off of the window that's that um, that's that roughness and metallic uh, slider that we used in the texture okay but the window is there and it is 50 percent transparent okay So that is getting your model into the sim. Okay, I'm gonna hit R and kind of go up a little bit. Let's, I'm gonna do one little thing for you. Not really part of the whole tutorial series, but I'll show you. Uh, if you go to options and you go to um, local time, you can change the time of day in your scene so you can see what your scenery looks like at a certain time. You can do that with the options for in the dev mode or you still have access to the weather environment in the actual sim itself. So I can go to weather and actually uh, move the time of day using this slider as well and then just close that when you're done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a light Okay, so we're gonna come up here to all, and then I'm gonna type in, I'm gonna add a scenery object for, I'm gonna type in warm, because I know there's a warm light. 
and then we're going to select warm light and we're going to add okay it automatically snaps uh, lights to the ground and we don't want it snapped to the ground all right and I'm going to turn my gizmo back on close that put that on translate all right and now we have a light that's in our scene and we can move it to wherever we want that's pretty bright I don't know if I really like that bright of light okay all right I'll show you one other thing while it's selected if you hit delete it'll go away let's add the uh, light warm medium it's maybe a tad less bright turn off snap to ground on that light and we'll move that up yeah that's a little better not much but it's a little better and so you can add a light to your house just like that okay and then you can any other models that you have you can do your night lighting all right so like for instance uh, in this FBO this this actual FBO is actually in Akron but I can add uh, some warm light there and right click properties turn off snap to ground and then I can move that light up and we can put lights inside our building so I'm gonna put one there and I'm gonna change the view here a little bit I'm gonna move this light up here okay and then I'm gonna come over here and duplicate in the scenery editor duplicate that light and just move it back and then duplicate that light and move it back all right duplicate that one move that over let's say they turn the back lights off and then duplicate that bring that here let's do it one more time and then move that one forward okay and then move my scene and the inside of my hangar has lights okay so that's how you bring your model in all right now the good thing to do is once you do all that is save your scenery which you can't see because I'm sitting in the way so let's uh, save the scenery you'll you'll know you saved when that button turns green okay and then once once that's once that's saved you need to build it again you don't need to build it because um, well, you need to build it because you placed a model into the scene uh, and you added some lights, okay? So go back up to Tut 1. Come over here to the inspector and build package. Now, it's going to fail. I'm going to get one fail, but don't. This is always like this since the last uh, sim update, all right? So I got Tut 1 here. I don't even need to put a company name if I don't want to. So I'm going to build package and I'm going to get some errors. All right. And that error is right here. And it's the naming of the package. I totally ignore that. So I'm going to clear my console, close my console, come up here to Tut1, place my cursor inside that field, hit enter. And hit the build package again and I should not get any more errors zero errors down here at the bottom we finish 17 skipped zero done zero failed now you can put that in your community folder and use it okay and then project close tools project editor turned off and then get out of the sim like you normally do. Just like that. All right. All right. So we did uh, lessons uh, one through five, A and B. <laughs> we did a lot. Um, the next video will we'll do a little bit more. Okay. Well, actually, we're going to, in the next video, I think we're going to do some terraforming. Um, show you how to mess with the ground and and do that kind of stuff so there's also a supplement after this um, this video is not ending here but after I 
introduce, uh, I have to edit two videos together. So that's following what I'm just saying. The next thing that we're going to be doing is fixing those previous errors that we had yesterday with the material library causing a, a failure. All right, we're going to fix that. And then uh, if you remember this build, we had the naming error or fail. We have that. We're going to fix that again, too. All right. So coming up is the second part of this video on fixing that material library error. All right. Hey, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video. See you guys later.